What's up, you guys? It's Nate Verone here to let you know that I got two live shows coming up, one in Los Angeles on July 18th with the one and only John Early. Are you fucking kidding me? That show is going to be absolutely fucking awesome. You got to get tickets. Link in the show notes. I also got a show in Chicago on the 26th at the Color Club. Okay? These shows are going to be absolutely fucking bonkers and bussin'. Get your tickets now before they sell out. And without further ado, enjoy this most excellent episode of Joy Tactics. So wait, what are we talking about? (laughs) Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. Auras. Oh, auras. Different style of auras. Aura taters. <laughs> I want to apologize to the listeners first off that you might hear a little echo on this podcast. Well, that's because I've just moved into a six uh, bedroom house here in LA in the hills, <laughs> deep within the hills, in a place that no one will ever find me unless I want to be found. And then, yeah, come on through for the party. But um, for now, it's unfurnished as I'm just, we're just figuring out the vibe of the place, the aura of the place. Mm. And then sooner than you can imagine, it's going to be filled with mid-century modern furniture as far as the eye can see. Putting a cold plunge in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we You know what I do echo. want so bad? What's that? Oh, maybe we can fix the echo. In post. No, we could put an echo on me and Nate so that... Oh, so it's like yeah, we're all yeah. in the same room? Yeah. yeah. I do want a conversation pit badly. Oh, like that would be nice. Mad Men. If you raise the rest of the floor and then just leave. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Part of it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's what Is I'm that talking a thing? about. A yeah. conversation pit? Oh, you like don't know about this, Nate? Of... It's a human cereal bowl for getting along. <laughs> you, are, you are so introverted, you would never even <laughs> fucking think of a conversation pit, man. <laughs> That's your hell. That's your ninth level of hell. <laughs> Nate, you ever see the picture of a living room and there's two steps down into like a lower little circle of the living room? Like somebody and there's cut a, a circle out of it? Uh, you know what? I, I'm really like can't. I can picture it just like what you're describing, but I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Before. Imagine this. You come home from a long day at the TV network. Okay. Look, I get what the conversation <laughs> is. I get what its function is. I get what it is. Oh, Nate, 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 Nate. Jason Sudeikis' house. Remember his? <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's no, but I want right. you to imagine something, Nate, because I don't think you've imagined this yet. You come home from a long day at the TV studio, whatever, or at the venture capitalism firm, and you are a little tired. You get home, and the place is just covered wall to wall with orange sort of shag carpet and who's on uh, there's Bonnie Raitt playing on vinyl okay and you look down oh oops there's your girl and she's standing in the conversation pit with a liter of martini already made ice cold shaken she's got <laughs> that fucking sh- sh- um, what are you the bodycon dress on she's got amazing curves just perfect and if you're a woman listening to this, imagine you see a, your man down there with a fat, his ass so fucking fat. And <laughs> and if you're you sapiosexual like me, imagine <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lars von Trier is down there sitting mermaid style with his belly out <laughs> and a bottle of grape juice. Mm. Mm. And you go down there and you just chat you just talk about your day no tv no tv you watch shogun at night no tv no no no. there's no way to do it because if you're screening something you can pull the projector screen down okay that's for screenings only and for study film study but no we don't distract ourselves with screens we distract ourselves with conversation Mm -hmm. in the pit and you get fucked up every night and then you take a pill that makes hangovers (laughs) fully go away and you wake up and go to the gym (laughs) And he lifts more weight than anyone else ever has. <laughs> Eric's Nate. utopia. Literally, that sounds pretty nice to me. 
is there is there like a ca- it's for, in my head there's like a nice uh uh there's definitely a seating arrangement in the the of conversation course. pit right okay this isn't of just like circular a standing. it's okay, a circular okay. pit or it could be a square square style pit and yeah there's going to be wheelchair accessibility ramp in mine in my of house course. that's for sure <laughs> yeah that's we don't have a ramp but we have the fucking ropes we have ropes all, all over oh, so they piece. could they could swing down like that mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah and it's so soft in there that if you just yeah it's fine now well, let's say let's type go ahead that go ahead. sounds no that just sounds like hell do you want to get you into want, it? What do you want, Nate? Yeah, do you want to get into it? Because what is your fantasy? Being all alone for the rest of your life? The isolation pit that is deep <laughs> into your home. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just like, it's not even furnished. It's just a hole that you dig in the middle of your living room. They lower me down 500, <laughs> 600 feet into the earth. It's warmer. Down. It's, it's, it gets warm and then it gets really cold. Mm-hmm. That it's warm first, it. and then you, warm first. you're pitching a theory where the middle of the Earth is ice. Well, there's a part. There's probably we a layer know. that's cold. That so I bet you it gets. Of course, of course, it's hot in the middle because fucking that's where hell is. But <laughs> if you go lower, I bet you there's one the mantle, the crust, the crustacean layer. One of those layers the is crustacean fucking, layer. One of those layers is is probably ice cold. <laughs> Oh, for yeah, sure. It's I bet a couple because there's are. no sun. What do you think? Well water? You think well water comes out boiling hot? No. No, no. Right? I'm it's... saying, I think we're all on the same page. That's got to be okay, the crust. Good. <laughs> but the crust you're saying is, yeah, I think Damn. it was just the order where you, you probably skipped the crust, Nate, because you went straight to warm. Right. You said it was warm first. No, well, Nate, why don't you do the... No, I'm okay. saying it goes right. warm and then it's... Because the earth, I, I guarantee you the earth works in that mysterious way. That, I said you heard me correct. It's warm, and then you're like, "Oh fuck, this is gonna suck." They're lowering me down into yeah. the pit, getting fucking hotter. Well, you take your jacket oh, off. This is gonna suck, back man. On. Yeah. Why did I do this? And then it gets fucking ice cold. And then the, there like we that. go. Now I'm at the the layer. I and want that's where you want to be. Have you guys yeah. watched Shogun yet? Not. Yeah, not yet, I watched the first preparing. the first episode, and I hate this. But I got like second screen poisoned by it. Like I was just on my phone no, and I was like, "That's on." And you, I wasn't dude. even paying attention. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck am I doing, dude?" Yeah. Like this, I, I I like literally can't even tell you what the story was. Like I was on my phone the whole time. You need to and be I was like, reading. What I have to Japanese. fucking watch this again to fucking. Uh, I want to watch it because I know I would like it. If you're if you're fluent conversationally in Japanese, then yeah, you don't need to use the subtitles. But if you even are a little bit less than fluent, you need to read that shit to know what's going on. But I'll bring it up because there's a scene in the first episode where one of the, what they call, this is what I found interesting to the Japanese, the Portuguese and English are barbarians. When actually the English and the Portuguese thought the Japanese were barbarians. That's what we call bias, cultural bias. Um, That was a little too hard for me to... Anyways, there's yeah. a scene where a guy is being boiled alive. <laughs> Lobster style. Lobster style in a giant pot, a Japanese giant pot. Does he and want that or are they doing no, it no, against his d- will? That's the last thing he wants. <laughs> boil it's me. against his will. God damn it. <laughs> boil me. So this but is a violent show. <laughs> oh, dude, there's violence for sure. But Why tastefully be done. Violence, but tastefully done. Right. Can you imagine being boiled alive? Yeah. Being all boiled as such? Yep. <laughs> I felt emotional pain like that, but man. yeah, what? <laughs> Not God, physical. I'm watching the debate, yeah, I was fucking boiling. Ow, ow, ow. We can't okay. talk about politics. No, no, but we need to talk about what this episode's about, which is the Aura. auras. Auras. The idea of auras. You know what? You you brought up a, a point that you're you're like we always associate auras as a human a function of the human body you know everybody has an aura but you were saying your house weren't you saying you're trying to get your house uh aura right you're, i don't know if i said that but that, i agree that, with that you're basically hinting that objects can have auras of and course they never, can uh thought of that previously so you're well, kind of expanding my worldview of what an aura can be because yeah of course a shoe can have an aura you know um right a, you know a time can have an aura Take you right. that to take right. you there. The Doesn't 80s have to exist. The 80s have, have a neon aura. aura. 
a decade can yeah a spoon can most have a better aura, aura this, what's the than most aura full era and what's the most aura less era most aura ever done 1940s hmm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right? Least of aura course. has to be what? The 2000... Probably the 2010. 2012? Yeah, 2010 yeah. is Yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't want to disrespect. <laughs> 20 really aura list. Uh, I think we're still in the, pretty bad. We're still in one of the most uh, least aura moments that's ever existed in human history. Well, and when aura, you're in the aura, you can't see the aura for the trees. You see what I'm saying? Because the light's too I can bright. understand what you're saying. You can't but see in the, the fall rear off. View. <laughs> but you know but, what? I was when it was like 2000 in the 2000s, whatever 2000s, 2010s. I was like thought the same thing where I was like, you know what? This doesn't feel like when I when you think about like the 70s and the in the 80s, it feels like there was a distinct like aesthetic and and people were dressing all they had the big mustaches right. the hair whatever and yeah. i was like maybe i'll maybe I'll, we'll be able to look back on it and and this will be like a I'll, it will have that but i don't think it does have as clear of a a vibe as the 90s 80s whatever the 70s and by the way we're so fortunate to have a decade that's it, it, uh, nobody talks about the 1730s, the 1740s, 17. Can you imagine right. that? <laughs> right. Seventeen sixties, that was all 70, just wigs. That would be crazy if they had the a different, whole different right. fucking style each decade. There. Well, but yeah. bro, here, let me blow your mind. To them, it was crazy different. Oh, there's a new fucking vest that everyone's wearing. That's the <laughs> 1790s. Oh, yeah. man, oh, the shoes that have put, a different type yeah. of buckles. That's the fucking <laughs> 1800s. <laughs> you remember yeah, green <laughs> sleeves? Remember her? <laughs> no. She somebody sang a song about her one time. They fell in love with her. She was probably the first person to ever have green sleeves. So they didn't even have the color green. So then once another, there's probably a decade where they thought, well, now clothes can be any color because they used to all just be mud color, whatever clothes were made out of at first. And then now it's crazy. Right. But an aura can you can have. By the way, I want to warn everybody. I would say that actually the 2010s had a very powerful aura. And the 2020s had a very powerful, powerful aura. But so dude, powerful we can't even know yet. The aura, there has to be words to describe <coughs> to describe auras. So there could be positive auras. Think of the 60s. Right. Think of flower power, right? Think of peace right. on earth and smoking weed and Jimmy But Hendrix. there's two sides to that coin, right? Remember this. There's two sides to the aura, aura coins. Yeah, one side of that aura coin from the 60s is Flower Power and Jimi Hendrix, who died by vomit, and uh, The Doors and all the amazing movie, The Graduate, the sexy movie with Dustin the Hoffman birds. and the MILF. Earlier, but... The birds on the know, other the side of the coin. Housing prices were... On the other side of the reasonable. coin, the horrors of Vietnam. Now, racism, now, now. The assassination of JFK. What that is, is people who don't notice... How peaceful was it here in America? It was very peaceful. And in Vietnam, to it you. was so... Well, I wasn't right. there. I wasn't there. <laughs> but to, in Vietnam, it was so horrible. And right. why... Do you think it's a coincidence that you're so far, far physically, geographically from the aura? So aura, is, they were just in the fallout. You know what I'm saying? They were beyond the fallout zone, beyond the event horizon of the, of the aura. So that's a positive aura that, that, that Vietnam didn't have the luxury of being in. Right, right. Because Jimmy Hendrix is probably coming out of Jimmy. But then there's it's negative also auras. Right. There's negative auras where you look at the 2010s, and <laughs> America was something was something is currently happening where we're stuck in a powerful negative aura. Of course. Well, I want to bring this up because color does tie into aura so much. Look at the color that is seeping through Middle America renovated homes. Okay, take my mom's condo for example white no even worse dark gray 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 wood fake wood floors okay not to shame my mom gray sort of silver uh accessories and fixtures you, you know i take i would take the 2000s sort of italian rustic farmhouse aesthetic a million the kind of cringy one remember that when all the rich kids had the kind of like italian farmhouse style homes Nate, 
What are you looking at? I have at? never met a rich. <laughs> I've never been in a rich person's house. I've never met a rich kid in my right, life. Based on principle, you know where right. I grew up, man. I know, but now it's all replaced with gray, just target sadness. You see this what I'm saying? Isn't this like the, the millennial colors gray? Draining. The, it's like millennial a, gray. Yeah, right. 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 Disgusting. We're getting we're getting to something quite interesting here. I want to keep digging. I want to keep digging. Well. You know, I want to keep digging as well, but I, I, uh, can I give a personal, uh, a recent aura mm. related story? Yeah. That I yeah, think of course. Would, I think could, could, because we didn't talk about our individual auras yet, mm-hmm. which we're no, we I haven't. Feel like we're, we're That's kind a of very vulnerable up to that. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so there, I was getting my oil changed at the uh, the Glendale Lube Center. Okay, I'll give mm. him a shout out. <laughs> okay, no, no, uh-uh, stop, mm. pause, Pro- proceed, man. Like proceed. Let's move <laughs> on. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Lube center. Getting Are you getting change. that lubed up every five thousand or what? Yep, I'm getting it lubed up every chance I get, man. <laughs> every time that see the Prius has a maintenance required thing on it. Do you, does your car yeah. have that? Yeah, the Mazda. So it tells you when you need it. Anyways. I go up to the lube center, pull up to the, um, this, there's this like line, you know, I get, I get, always get my, my maintenance done there or my, uh, whatever oil change. And he says, you know what? We're kind of backed up. Why don't you go park in the parking lot? And then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll like, you know, come over and tell you when, when, when you can pull up to the oil change area. So I'm parked in the parking lot. One of the mechanics comes over to me with a note card, a note that has something written on it. And it says, hi, I am a mechanic um, at Glendale Lube Center and you cannot park here, like a card like that. And I think he thought I was like, like kind of a person that lived in my car (laughs) and, and, uh, (laughs) and was just like parked in the parking lot. And I opened my door and he sees, and he's because fe- because you can't feel an aura through a window. Oh okay? my god! So he yeah, gets the that's full proven scientifically. <laughs> he gets the flesh to flesh aura as <laughs> soon as I pull out the door and look at his ass. Immediately, night and day. So, oh my god, he 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 senses my powerful aura, threatening, <laughs> wow, threatening aura that I have. Because if yeah. you're around me, it, you can't feel this on the. The podcast, the Zoom, right. but you guys would say I have a very threatening. Oh presence. yeah, uh, yeah, it's something. It's something to be. Beho- it's something to behold for sure. <laughs> and in addition to the aura, it's the you don't really do personal space. You don't. Right. You right. Don't I'm that. right up in your fucking yeah. grill, dude. If you're it's talking, it's that to Old me, Spice swagger fucking coming right through. You can smell the Old Spice <laughs> swagger through the glass. Yep. I didn't use this mouthwash for no reason. Uh, uh-huh. That's a good T-shirt. <laughs> but he says he immediately starts apologizing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought you were. Lo and behold, there was another Prius that had been parking in the parking lot uh, illegally. Wow. Okay. And he thought that I was that guy. But I will just say that as soon as he kind of, as soon as I made eye contact with him, and he saw he got the Nate Brown eye contact stare, mm-hmm. and sort of he he felt my how superior my posture is right and sort of my body type and you know lanky but um powerful <laughs> um body type he was right. he was he immediately backed off you know what i'm saying and felt mm-hmm. and this was kind of like it felt like a sort of primate like sensing that the alpha sigma sort of thing like he kind of he, again you can't see these things through a glass all if right. you have a yeah, right. scientifically, yeah. right? There's a reason why we shake hands and don't. You know what I mean? Uh, You're good. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. But <laughs> um, but anyway, skin to skin this, tells you everything. I'll just say that skin, skin exactly. to skin, skin to skin. So much. There's so much communication going going on intercellularly between yeah. hands when they shake. It tells you everything you need to know. I'll just right, say it like right. that. For anyone who's afraid to shake hands in this day and age, mm-hmm. start shaking them now. 
So but, that that's wow. my aura. And and what would you say the color of my aura? Because I think that's a thing of like people have different colors of aura. What would you say? You my, are my, purple. Yeah. A purple. No question. Oh, royal. Purple aura. Purple and gold aura. Yeah. Squidward. Wait, Squidward mm, is blue. No, nah, he's blue. Yeah. Squidward. Sorry. Purple Squidward. I don't know why I thought of yeah. that immediately. Purple. When I, purple. Nah, nah, he's light blue, dude. He's yeah. But Sorry definitely purple. That. Like I, it's not even. Here, here's what's interesting. I would never for a second think another aura color for you. Yeah. Yellow. Really? Hell nah. nah. Green. Hell nah. Red. <laughs> Maybe well, you know, sparkling. Maybe just clear sparkling for Nate. You know what I see you guys as? What? Huh. What? Eric, you are pink. <laughs> what what do you just make pink. a word up? What pink. are you saying? Oh, pink. <laughs> I'm pink. I'm saying it in a, in a, in a, in a certain way. Like you are pink. pink. <laughs> Neon pink. 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 Wow. Hot pink. Why do you get hot, hot pink? Why do you get, why do you get that? I is it because that, my dude. face is red from the sun a little bit right now? No, it has nothing to do with that, man. It's just you have a very intense pink. Pink. Aura. Pink aura. Is it because you? Is it because you could see the inside of my mouth? <laughs> nope. It's a bright pink. Nope. Could you imagine? Nope. I have the pinkest mouth of all time. <laughs> it looks like you've been gobbing on some Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so dis- disturbing. What do you think your aura is? What color do you think your aura is? I would say a forest green. Um, a forest green. Interesting. Yeah. I could see that, because that's what I, I think. I would say the same thing. Green for for you. you. Ask me, yeah, Jack. What do you? Well, think we your all want to be green. I you don't want to be green? green. Jack, you have that orange glow, dude. That Fanta oh. orange aura. That's a rare type as well. That's an extremely rare type. You have and a- remember this. Know this. In Star Wars, there's these things called kyber kyber crystals. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening. And every Padawan has to go on a journey to find Padawan. their kyber, chill, kyber crystal to make their first lightsaber. And it's a very intense journey to go get this kyber crystal. And every kyber crystal has a different color. Yeah. So oh, when right. you go to Star Wars uh, theme park. And Samuel L. Jackson had the only purple. <laughs> he, oh, he asked. Must have been you know, he asked crazy. for purple. He asked for he purple. He said, I want to be. He called up George Lucas and he said, this is real. He said, I want to be in Star Wars. And I want a purple lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> that is we the are so close. We are so Hollywood. close to that point in We are career. so fucking close, man. And I want a purple. No one's ever had a purple lightsaber. Purple like, is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so sick. But Jack, for sure, if you went on that kyber crystal journey and you put that thing in the hilt, in the little hilt of the lightsaber, bzz, first time orange. it comes out, all orange. No, but it question. would be like a little like it wouldn't. It Dagger. would be like a like a pud. Like it would be like a, a head of a. Hey penis. man. Like <laughs> like. You think it wouldn't go all the way? Your lights, and you would just have to like fucking like poke people <laughs> in the head. head. <laughs> You're saying it's the, it's like it's not even long or sharp or nothing. It's like it's really loud and it just goes. It's like <laughs> and it just goes. And it's just hot. Kind of the head of a dick. Like is it hot? Oh, out, man. I, yeah. How do I kill people with that? What's the you point? Just you fucking don't, dude. Shove you're, it up again. You you don't. You're you're, you're, more you're a fucking like, librarian. You're a Star Wars librarian. <laughs> Why do I have? That? Which is That's a I mean, very, if you touch somebody with that, it, with the head of the, it burn you know, them right. It, it'll, it'll fucking take them oh, out. So it's, a ta- it it's essentially a, a lightsaber sandwich, taser. What if I put it in a, in a soup and then give it to somebody? Then they wouldn't think that I was so harmless anymore. <laughs> <laughs> mm, meatball. Oh, and what would my lightsaber look like, Nate? <laughs> it would be like real. It would be like... Uh, I would say it would be... Very, I don't know why I'm getting so phallic with the... Interesting. It would be really <laughs> long but limp. And it would be like heavy to kind of whip. It would be like a whip, but it would be really heavy to like, it's like whip. It's really hard. It's it's not. It's like a really heavy whip that it would be really hard to. I'm dragging uh, it on the ground. Yeah, you'd be dragging it around, and you'd be like, "Don't, don't step on it, man! Like that'll fucking burn your foot. That'll fucking off. slice your foot off." I feel like that might wow. be Nate's because you have yeah, that, that might be mine actually. Thing. I feel like Eric, yeah, yours you might be a green chair. 
Like yours goes like transformer <laughs> style. It, like you hit the button and it fully turns into a chair. You trick people you into sitting chair. into a fucking lightsaber chair. <laughs> it's so <laughs> obvious. It, it, cl- Dude, take a seat. <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Sith that's like, it's all red, bright red. The trickster Go ahead, Sith. take a seat. <laughs> hey man thanks for coming to lunch with me that one why don't you why don't you go grab that purple fucking glass over there take a drink yeah, of water Qui-Gon Jinn, just <laughs> awesome to meet up just wanted to chat for a bit just go ahead i'll take a seat right there and you must be tired yeah take a seat. i made you something food <laughs> Qui-Gon. you want to sit Qui-Gon next to jar Jinn jar right so funny that's a fucking awesome name, by the way. Qui Gon Jinn. Jin. If I could have backwards? any name, it and would be that. And they gave that to the fucking English bloke. Qui Gon. That's Qui-Gon. right. I heard a British guy today. Yeah. I, oh, where'd you hear him? I heard him by the by the water, by the ocean. That's where they always are. Was there anyone around, or was that just coming to you from across the sea? He was talking. That's <laughs> from. <laughs> it traveled Hello. across the whole ocean. Hello. It bounced all the way. Can you imagine if that's how the earth worked sound wise? It could. We just haven't discovered those frequencies yet. <laughs> well, probably that's why. I bet. Yeah, I bet. Like groundhogs Wait, probably you, do hear did that. Did you guys watch the uh, uh, the Joe Rogan with somebody like commented this on the, the Reddit or something? But it was um, Terrence. Howard and oh, yeah. like a real like a mathematician a, guy. Yeah, yeah, like an MIT or something. And he's like, I like want physicist, and it is the most psychotic <laughs> podcast that's ever been recorded. They're like, I mean, I don't know, I really know nothing about physics, but they have all these like shapes that they're pulling out, and Dickens <laughs> Howard has this like. This this model that he built in Blender that he keeps on going back to, and he's like, Jamie, click on the color. <laughs> They're really making me laugh. <laughs> I need to watch. He's he keeps like, on sh- going back to it. He's like, click on the click on the blue one, and you just see me. <laughs> It's so. It's, is it a uh, new shape that he's invented, like a special style it kind of shape? Kind of. Yes, it's a new. Sh- he's like, <laughs> I invented this, this shape that he made in Blender. Can I go? Uh, it, it's just crazy, dude. It's, and then the the physicist is pulling out a different shape, and he's like, <laughs> referencing this sh- this like toy. It's it's so chaotic. Is the is physicist it a of fed life? up? Uh, no, he's, I think he came in, like, I think he's, like, kind of pissed off because he's getting a lot of, like, attention for his formulas and stuff to the layman, like, people that don't know anything about physics, I think he's, like, mad that he is, you know, getting traction for some of these theories that he has, so he's, like, oh, I'm about to come in, like, he's, you can tell he's, like, studied all of like Terrence Howard's like ideas and he's like so ready to like to like, duke it agree out. with him or not you know and and he I think he does it and I didn't watch the whole thing but of what he of what I did watch he kind of is like trying to be as respectful as he can but you know what I'm saying like Terrence Howard has one he he might be wrong about some things but like I got to give him a massive shout out because you know one <laughs> thing that he there's got to be one thing that he's got right you know what I'm saying right right and there in and we could get into this this is the academics versus the sort the of intuitives the intuitives right exactly so well, and I would say we are definitely school. intuitives you have to go through school and do all these and he's like no man I'm no, just no. fucking no, this no. is just what I'm feeling I've come this up shit. With. there are people who discover and there are people who enforce Proof. right uh, so if you are an academic like this gentleman was who came on to contest him and by the way in a stage in the process when we don't need people contesting it yet Okay. Right. We need fucking still encouragement. So what this math guy does is he goes and he learns everything that all the other crazy people had already discovered. And then he's teaching people, right. this is what this person figured out. But what Terrence is doing is he's doing the, the actual science. 
Okay. Which is making 3D models in Blender. In Blender. <laughs> in Blender, which most people don't have access to. Is it right. called the all shape? Right. To most people, that's a, that's a kitchen appliance. But the to problem us with the all shape is designers. It's so it's every shape in one, as I'm understanding. It's I'm called the it. all shape. Yeah. Uh, no, so it's, it's not. It's yeah. a triangle that looks the like a shape. basically a 12 dimensional crown. Interesting. What's inside of this shape? Because it looks like a, it looks like a. Wait, are you serious, Jack? That's like the whole discussion of. Did you watch really? this? <laughs> no. No, no, because we're dealing with an intu- the master intuitive right here. <laughs> wait, wait, Jack. Did you did you really just no, like that's your first thought about I it? Swear to yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like the whole premise of. That's like his whole really? theory is like, what's inside of this <laughs> shape. <laughs> Like that's where the all the energy comes from, and <laughs> well, it's so oh obvious from God. looking at it that it's something. Exactly. Weird. Somebody, <laughs> somebody in the subreddit or something was like, "This is just Jack." Like Jack is. <laughs> this is if Jack like. Well, if you look at if you look physics. at it, it looks like one of those spiky, you know, those like spiky type of things that fall out of trees. Mm-hmm. 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 It looks kind of like one of those. And it looks like clearly there's a nut in it. I mean, there's I really room. the funny like thing is you there's are, room for anything inside of it because you I just feel like scale you it are the missing like link between Terrence Howard and like a a like utopian discovery. Like if you guys could just well, okay, just be so here's what I'm thinking. Right, and you could assess his what he he needs somebody to come on who's gonna go there with him and just see because what I bet nobody said to him, which I'm noticing just from looking at this thing. There's always a reason that something has a point. What's causing? If you look at the crest of a wave in the ocean, it's right. the sh- a, a shape is a reaction to energy. So if you look right. at how many points are all <laughs> around this dot, around this ball, it's basically like a bunch of tarps, right? And so right. it implies that there's something inside of this shape that is pushing out in very specific directions. I'm not going to say mm-hmm. north, south, east, west. I know Eric was talking about the East and West Pole, but that's right. actually what weirdly it feels like it ties into <laughs> It could this. be undiscovered fourth dimensional directions. There's six mm. points coming out of this thing. Okay. Probably seven because there's one in the back that you can't see. Right. I mean, it looks like a tent. Frankly, it looks like a circus tent. Oh, Imagine yeah. this. You, go, you have a yeah. mysterious uncle who's always traveling, but you never know where. And Hmm. one day he passes away and he leaves a chest to you. And you open the chest and there's a compass inside. (laughs) But instead of just on a 2D plane where there's what four cardinal directions. He doesn't have his own kids. There's a direction coming. No, he's single his whole life. Bachelor. There's a direction coming out towards you and a a direction coming out away from you. Mm -hmm. He's been navigating different dimensions. Yeah. Is that what and if you have this compass, you can go to different dimensions. And the compass, and the, is compass. The, phys- the physicist actually d- explained like other dimensions in a way that I like kind of got. And he and he and he described it in a way that like you know how like a record, like a, a an old <clears> school <throat> record, there's a he he described it as like there's the Victorella. What is that? Is that a record player or something? Mm-hmm. And then I he's like, know. "There's a the you know the pin that you drop on. Mm-hmm. You're listening to one song. Okay, that's mm-hmm. our dimension. Okay, you're listening to uh, uh, what's our uh, anyways like, <laughs> you're listening to one song. Okay, on a record, but on that <laughs> record, there's twelve mm-hmm. songs. Okay, those right. are the different dimensions. <clears throat> yeah, and our reality is just <clears throat> on that. So simultaneously on that record." You can, um, <laughs> all right, many different I'm, I'm, songs. No, 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 literally, Nate, I'm you, you laughing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fully get it. But I, I was like, oh, that's that was a good way to describe, like, what do you mean? Uh, other dimensions. It's like simultaneously, we exist in 11 dimensions, okay? Now, here's and they're my all question. all happening simultaneously, but our. Our reality is just on that one side. But does, okay, go, Jack, ask a question, then I have another extremely important question. Uh, I just want to talk about this concept, the notion of dimensions, okay? Because 
it feels like there's two things being talked about sometimes when you say it's a reality, right? Because there's one dimension, which is X. There's the second dimension, which is By Y. By the way, this is peak joy tactics right y. now. Us discussing. <laughs> <laughs> Completely earnestly trying to break down what a dimension is. Trying our hardest to understand. This is as good I as am. it gets. So, okay. Whatever. Take, 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 take me seriously. X, dimension one. Y, that's actually still dimension. Okay, but in a in blender, that's a second dimension. In terms of measurement, then Z space, right? That's a third dimension as we call this. <laughs> now, actually, I'm running into my own problem, which is, hmm. are X and Y not? This is you still know what we one need dimension. Is a fucking whiteboard, dude. If we had a or a, if we had a chalkboard, dude, it would be we could crazy figure this shit out. Equations. Yeah. We could. Well, we're, we're saying see, that's what's stopping us right now. We don't have a fucking chalkboard. We can write. <laughs> if down we all had the, all of our equations, can we please man? do the whiteboard episode? We all need to have whiteboards. Hang them on the wall so that we can. We need and to have cards. a gigantic, I'm getting a like board. fucking wall. Yeah, wide of calculations of calculations that we keep yeah. up uh, for the whole entirety of all joy mm-hmm. tactics, and we and mm-hmm. it's gonna add up to something, dude. Of if course, we, if we write down all of our equations that we've been formulating this entire year, here's my issue. We would have something. Okay, let me do an example. Now. <laughs> This is a canister of minoxidil. I've never used it, and I don't even know what that is. But <laughs> this is one dimension, okay? Right here. Right. In terms of building, why? Up and down. This is mm-hmm. another dimension, across. Of course. This Wit. is another dimension, deep, depth. Now, my question is, is that the same definition of dimension as when you say a different dimension is a different reality? Because a dimension is not a reality. Unless it is. We are limiting ourselves with the idea of (laughs) a a limited amount of multiples, right? Well, (laughs) our brains can't figure out because we haven't needed to figure this out from an evolutionary standpoint is the concept of infinity. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, great. Right. Because the way that that physicist put it for you helps our small brains understand, oh, there's 12 dimensions. We're all on the same physical. uh, We're on different physical planes, something like that. But we can't comprehend the amount of possibilities. Something like Dr. Strange would be able to comprehend. Okay. Because if anybody's going to comprehend the concept, the notion of interdimensionality, it's Dr. Strange. (laughs) Right, <laughs> okay, right, so, because he has his, he has his windows to other dimensions. He's seen more than you can imagine. <laughs> Doctor Strange, that's an awesome. Book. Doctor Weird, Doctor, doctor Understanding, Doctor mm-hmm. Doctor Understanding, Empathetic, well, the so Sexual Doctor. I just googled the word dimension. There's two definitions. The first, a measurable extent of some kind, such as length, breadth. The fuck is that? Depth or breadth. height? What the fuck is breadth? Breadth is like width. No, because bread. Bed, with depth. Bread. Oh, I see what you're saying. They're saying length. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, I still. That's how like old timey sailor would say width. But there's four. There's width length, and breadth. Length. 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 Breadth. Length. Okay. Well, no, no, but it's good. But then it says height at the end. Length, breadth, depth, length. and height. Maybe if breath. We need, to, we need to move on. Like, we need to move on. If we have now, the, okay, sound, right. the, <laughs> the, the, the sound bite of Joy Tactics, we, I would be pressing that, like, you couldn't even hear our dialogue. Be, joy Tactics, Joy Tactics, Joy Tactics, Joy Tactics, Joy Tactics. All right, all right. Now, the second definition is an aspect or feature of a situation, problem, or thing. A muffy reveal. Sun, the example it does is sun dried tomatoes add a new dimension to this sauce. So that's irrelevant for what we're talking about. Look at that cat. That's a cute cat. Mm. Yeah. So do you think animals, to say. this is a great uh, serendipitous moment. Do you think that animals exist in another dimension in their minds? Because they are in the, do they perceive another they just, dimension. I feel like they are, we think that they're stupid as fuck, or at least I do. Oh, right. And um, <laughs> no one can convince me that they're smarter than humans in any way, shape or form. But sometimes the way that they just stare into the distance, birds, they're just, st- they're just, dude, you can't just, you can't just plant, you can't just, just be still and just freeze like that without 
going to a different having place something quite mentally. deep going on in there i know i know that's for sure <sighs> well maybe my, my question ahead. is this back to the idea of aura so in this dimension we all have some of the each one of us has an amazing very powerful aura that coincides with our high levels of success career-wise and relationship-wise <laughs> whatever does that aura extend to other dimensions for example, yes. does G- did Jesus Christ's aura on this planet and this reality extend through all the other dimensions? So uh, in dimension 49,000 A, B, yeah. whatever, is yes. Jesus in that reality uh, some type of whatever frog or whatever that has that same aura yeah. and that same <sighs> impact on, on the history of that reality? Yes, you see what I'm the, saying? The extent yes. of the... Because well, you have a, it, when you drop a rock into the ocean, it creates a ripple, not just along right. the, the top, but it also creates ripples down throughout the ocean. So it's almost like if we're living in, the, in, in these three dimensions, which we may perceive, even though we can only perceive one with our individual eyes, which does lead me to believe that we see in three dimensions, because to be able to see from beyond one dimension, you need to have two lenses, which are co- communicating to your brain at the same time. And we do have two lenses. It's just we see in 3D at such a microscopically close. You guys already know this shit. But yeah. what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah. they they notice because when you walk under a ladder and you're thinking, oh, that's bad luck. Well, what you've actually done is you piss somebody off because they use that interdimensional space to keep their food there. And you just walk through a bunch of cans of weenies or whatever. See what I'm saying? You break glass. My, yeah. On, on a major catastrophic level, I believe that when we did the Oppenheimer nuclear tests and the bombs, mm. splitting the atom has a major impact on other dimensions. Mm-hmm. In That's ways. What they say. <laughs> That's what they say. Because why did, was there so much U, what, we, what we would call UFO activity? happening right after the nuclear bombs i think it's I'm because we say. triggered a watchdog a watchdog group a mm-hmm. neighborhood watch or a organization intergalactic of, in a neighborhood watch that was like oh shit we gotta now pay attention to these fools lest we have another nuclear bomb roswell, destroy our reality you know what's in roswell new mexico what is the is the fucking the hong kong of the fifth dimension is like hmm. A crazy city located a crazy interdimensional city oh. is kind of based in that location so when we put off that whatever that first uh Ugh. bomb went off it i feel like it was massive you know trillions okay. of, of yeah. entities were killed in that <laughs> interdimensionally and they were like what the fuck is going on oh well, my there's well, no man. way those fools and the those primates in the in the third dimension <laughs> We got to go. Well, there's no way they, they, they right. come back. Hey, what the fuck? Are you serious? They've developed this technology. They haven't been here in probably 200,000 years. They right. thought, they like, thought, oh, they thought we were just cute. coconuts, right? They thought it was cute what we were doing. Whoops, we found a microchip. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies, we found a We atom. have PlayStation now. Oopsies. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, you, you thought forgot we you left we? a bunch of atoms here. We have a switch. Yep. Sorry. Whoops. Sorry, alien captors. We can podcast now. Mm. And we can spread <laughs> our agenda. <laughs> what the fuck? No. It's too late. It's too late. We're too already late. echoing. The reverberation figured out begun. podcasting. <laughs> That's a fucking, yeah. Now, how do you grope with that or cope grope. with that? <laughs> uh, grapple. Grapple. How do you grapple right. with that theory, Nate, given the amount of bombs which have gone off because let's not forget the Tsar Bomba which went off in the northern Russian uh, islands or Hiroshima and Nagasaki I hate to bring them up but many bombs have gone off are you saying that these places are also kind of doorways I feel like the those VIP. are like those are like the Dayton Ohio's of the other dimension where they're like whatever like they blew up 
Dayton, Ohio. If if, the, if you blew no up problem. Dayton, Ohio, you'd be like, whatever. Oh, okay, like, but the world this, it was a on. spot where Roswell was. It was it was just like right place, right time. Sort of like, what the fuck, you bro, you you blew up the New York City of the sixth dimension, man. That's not cool. We well, gotta fly around. So the way that I'm understanding now. this is there is one universal grid. There is one black and green, like you would see in like a 1990s computer rendering grid of the universe, right? Yeah. And every reality and dimension is like a, a ROM that you're playing on that grid. Like, okay, there's Pokemon Yellow on this one. We're playing <laughs> um, whatever Chrono Trigger on this one. We're playing Banjo Kazooie on this grid. So yeah. the grid, but the grid is the same. The console is the same. Do you see what I'm saying? You're playing it on the same. We're, we're all playing on the same N64. It's just the games are all different. Mm-hmm. And if you blow up something all crazy in one game and start messing with the with the console, yeah, guess what? That has an, a trickle down effect on the and other. Let dimensions. me bring up a game that it it? would be highly related to this subject. Hmm. You remember Mario, right? Which one? I remember him. Okay. What's now his last you remember name? Paper Mario. Yep. Two D yeah. to three. Oh. I remember so he him. went. He shrunk him down to a different. He went inter. Mario went interdimensional with it. He said, "I want to. F- I want to figure out this flat reality and see what that's like. Is the yep. princess going to be se- sexier? All oh, sexy there? still, right? Yep. And she was. Turns out she was. Turns out she was even Turns sexier. Out when I when I'm papers, <laughs> you are. Yeah. But when you're not paper, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Are we, we still going to be able to do this when we turn 40? Nate, when you hit 40, is this going to feel different when we're talking about <laughs> like this? I'll, or is first this off, a, I'll be dead by then, so I won't even know. But Well, you saw there was a Reddit poll about who's going to die first, and I, <laughs> I won by a landslide. <laughs> now, that was a leading agree. question. That's, that's called a leading uh, question. Yeah, that's just, who, that's just people know. who want to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, they want me dead. They, for want, they want you dead. They're they want praying to stop. for your downfall. Well, they want to they want to stop innovation innovation in the entertainment industry. Then that's the <laughs> goal. That's right. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, dude. The, um, I know there's so much innovation that you have, Eric. That they're. It makes me emotional really thinking about the fucking well of innovation that. People will be missing out on it if I go if I go too early. Man. So let's give some advice on how you can really quickly give some advice on how a young person could increase their aura. Because you know this is the new this is the yeah, new TikTok comment. P- people can say like, Oh, I sense this person's aura five videos right. away on my f- for you page, whatever yeah. on TikTok. Right. So if you're a young person and you're aura less, get it together and here's how you do it. <clears throat> okay. If you're in a picture, if you're posing in a picture and you're standing next to someone, never point at the person like this and look away. Like right. that. Never do that. No. So you're saying yeah. you can change your aura. Go like this. Well, it's a constant measuring, right? So you are con- you are constantly every second of your life doing things like a stock market. It's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you Adjusting. just have to do things. You might you might be starting at a place right now where you're in ninth grade, as many of the listeners are, and you're at negative 40,000 aura, right? So just mm-hmm. to even get, you you got work to do. You can't just do, if you could if you think you could pull off a Max Keeble's big move style, back foot off the table, 900,000 plus aura points in one move, sure. Yeah. But for a lot of That's people, That's dangerous, you get killed. You could, well, you risk, but it's... You're, it's a full-on gamble because you could lose 900,000 aura <laughs> just like that. And now you're really yeah. starting from – now you're unsalvageable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's when the interest starts racking up on the aura points. Then you boom, just boom, become boom. an NPC. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do things like, you know, listen, do the, do, do, do the double a, kiss on the cheek. I forgot there was a numerical value associated with of course there is. There's I numerical totally values that. associated with everything if you look deeply enough. There's math in everything. <laughs> That's the beauty of math. There's math and art, you realize. God, I had no idea math could be beautiful in There's any way. math That's and phone crazy. numbers. There's numbers and phone numbers. <laughs> <Individual> <laughs> right, numbers. right. 
I hate to do this, but basically I have to go pick up a table. No. I can tell you guys about this. I have to go pick up a table. So unfortunately, we need to kick our joys off a little your early. Jedi this table. Week. It's a, your lightsaber table. Uh, go ahead. Put yeah. your <laughs> put your hands on it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, lay on it. <laughs> your massage. You're like a masseuse. A je- uh, light Sith chair. Masseuse. Go ahead, get on the the table. I'll give you a massage. It's fucking glowing red under the. <laughs> Man, it's quite funny. funny. So really, what has given? us joy this week what should i begin should i begin please we are coming off a run of rap world screenings here in la that have been a real joy to watch people have been coming out enjoying the film some a couple not according to letterbox a couple people that are behind the times and how advanced this film is but most of people are enjoying (laughs) it having a good ass time and um we we might do more in la is what i heard I don't want to just say that right now publicly, but we might do more. And we have screenings coming up in Chicago and New York, and I believe Portland and Seattle as well, coming down the the pike. Wow. So if it's coming to your city, get get all excited, get some tickets, go see that thing. And enjoy it while it happens. And enjoy it while it happens. Um, Well, let's see here. I watched uh, I watched the documentary Grizzly Man. What's that? Week. Grizzly Man, the the one about a guy who gets uh, killed by a he kind of is like the who's that person that like studied monkeys in the wild like that woman? Jane Austen. Jane uh, Jane, Jane Goodell is that it? Jane Goodall. Goodall. He's oh, basically that, but like for grizzly bears and like. Uh, he he would go out in the wild and like be one with the grizzly bear, and they of course they kill they end up killing him, eating him, and and uh, it's uh, it was, oh, it was one that I've heard about a lot. Christopher, I, what's I, his name? I love that it. that clip when Warren Herzog is watching it and or he's listening to the tape and never it's he's like <laughs> yeah destroy it destroy it now <laughs> yeah. Because he listens um, to, like, there's audio recording of him being getting, eaten alive and his girlfriend ooh, getting eaten. And his girlfriend. Oh, no. There with. And Werner put, Herzog oh listens to it. And he, a close personal friend of the guy who uh, gets killed has the tape. And she's never listened to it. And he's listening to it. And he's just, he's he doesn't even listen to the whole thing. He puts mm-hmm. takes his headphones off. It's mm-hmm. like an iconic scene in it. And he's like, destroy this, destroy this, never listen to this. And do that not remix joy. it. Do not make yeah. it. That gave me so much joy. <laughs> uh, swing, swing. But that, that doc is, is uh, kind of busting. It's popping. Like that. It's so good. That's awesome. I'll Jack, sir, that. what gave you joy? What gave me joy is the opportunity of a lifetime. Almost nobody on the planet gets to do this. My girlfriend and her cousins were swimming across the channel and they tried to swim across and the co- one of the cousins didn't make it and she had to hold on to a dock that was on the way uh, and try not to pass out and drown. Jesus. So she, eventually she regained her breath, she calmed down and she made her way over to the other side of the, the channel and they said to me, and the cousin's boyfriend, would you please go get some floaties? And we said, we don't think that'll work. Just try it, you know, because how are we going to, we'd have to swim the floaties over, but I guess we could have done that. So whatever. Actually we do. So we go, we get the floaties, we come back and then a giant yacht pulls up. What? We come back with the floaties. We left some beers on the dock and the guy goes, I made sure not to spill your beers. We go, good God. You're so cool. Who are you? And he's like, oh, just a guy with a boat. Just a guy with a boat. Okay. So then we, he says, what are y'all doing? We say, our girlfriends are stuck over there. They can't swim back because they're afraid of dying. And he goes, how about this? I got 10 minutes right now. Get on my big ass yacht. No. Or we're going to pull around, sipping on gin and juice. Oh, Pick them up. <laughs> and that's what we do. We come around the bend. The girls are going crazy. Oh, my God. It's so cool. You guys are the best. This guy comes out, whatever. We pick them up, drops us off. 
we go, who are you anyways, man? And I'm not going to dox him, but I'll just say, and you can find out his full name just from Googling this title, I bet. Let's just say that was the president of Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You you buried the lead. You're saving this for the podcast. That's right. I was on the boat of the guy who owns Dunkin' Donuts America. Holy. The president. Okay. Wow. And he probably knows Ben Affleck. That's right. That's what they were saying. That's so fucking sick. So he was very nice and cool, just like I'd always pictured. Scott. CEOs Scott are Leap. nice, good guys, man. Most of them are. A, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, He's got damn, I feel aura. so bad. I want to hear so much more. We'll talk about it more on the Patreon, okay? okay. But I have to go now, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, we'll do the I'm Dunkin' so Donuts sorry. episode. All right. All right. Well, I love you guys, right, everyone. and we'll chat Peace soon. Out. Peace out now. Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreon.com slash joytactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.